Hello, welcome to SparkBird 101. I'm your host, Robert Rocha. I'm an Instructional Technology Specialist with the El Paso Independent School District. Today, our show is going to focus on the Smart Recorder. You may say, well, what is the Smart Recorder? Why would I need that in my classroom? The Smart Recorder allows you to videotape or record any action that you do on your desktop computer. And that can become a very valuable tool in the classroom. So let's say you wanted to record maybe how to install a program, how to use a program for your students, and you wanted the kids to go back and be able to watch that video of what you did so we can go back and reteach it without you actually reteaching it. You can probably put it up on a website and the kids can go to it and they can watch your actions or what you did recorded on that particular computer. This is also good so you know, let's say you had a student who was uh, on a long-term absence and you wanted them to be a part and see the instruction that you were doing in your classroom, you could record everything that you did on your computer screen, which is, gonna, again, a really neat thing for our, our teachers to go ahead and do. So let's go and take a look and see how the video recorder actually works or the smart recorder works. When I go to my smart icon, again, which is that blue icon with the white circle, I click on that, and my second option is gonna be the recorder. So when I click on that, I'm going to get this little window up here that says Smart Recorder. And of course, I've got a play button, and I've got a pause button, and of course, my stop button that's right there. So as soon as I start recording, it's going to record every action I have on my smart board. Anything that I'm doing on my computer screen, it's going to record it. It'll even record my voice. So if you speak loud enough into your built-in microphone, it'll record your voice. If not, you can always use an external microphone, and you can record your voice. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this record button. And now it's starting to record. You can see my timer up here is going by. It's saying about four, five, and six. So everything that I'm doing here is copying my cursor moving here. So let's say I wanted to go ahead and open up a, a internet access. So I click on internet Firefox there. And it's opening it up. Or let's say I wanted to go, I close this up and I wanted to go to Smart Notebook. And I started recording. I got a pin here, and I started recording. I wrote the word um, EP, and someone changed my colors here, EPISD. Not the best, but it's kind of hard writing with the mouse. But everything I've done here, it's recording. So when I stop recording, I'm going to go ahead and click on the, my little button here that says Stop. And it's going to save it in my documents. Of course, you can move it anywhere you want. I'm going to go to my desktop here. And notice it put the current date of February 21st, and it gives another random number at the very end. And it's going to save this as what's called a Windows Media file. So I'm going to click on Save. And it's a little window saying it's rendering the video. And about a minute and 31 seconds. Actually, a little bit faster than that. And it's going to record our piece here. In the meantime, I'm going to close up my Smart Notebook here and click on no. And it's about 20 more seconds here, We're almost done. And here it says recording complete, recording successful. And if I want to go, I can click on this button here and put a check mark and say play recording and click OK. And so now you get a screen now of everything that I've done. So you can actually watch it. You can present that to your students. You can put it on a flash drive, or you can host on your website if you want. And you can have the students go ahead and watch that video, and you can share it with your students. Again, it can be a very handy tool. A lot of times you don't know, how do I screen capture something? Well, Smart has built that for free within the Smart Video Recorder. I'm going to close that up. And there it is on my desktop. It's my Windows Media file that I can. And again, it's be able to share it and do whatever you like with that particular video file. And again, it can becomes a very important part if you have a student who's out for long-term illness, you can actually still teach to them using that particular video player and recording all of your class that you did that day. That pretty much wraps it up today for our video smart video replayer or video recorder. I hope you use this particular feature and hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day. Bye bye.